Welcome to uh, these Java under the hood series and the purpose of these videos is to well hopefully give you a better understanding about how Java programs work and I do this by uh, looking behind the scenes and basically by demonstrating the interaction that the execution of a Java statement has on your data in memory mainly your data that is located on the stack and the heap before starting with the first demo just a quick introduction Stack and heap, what are those? Well, those are memory areas managed by the GVM. GVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. And what is a GVM? Well, whenever Java program is started, the operating system, Windows, Linux, or any other operating system that has Java installed, launches a process. And the Java Virtual Machine is started within that process. What does the GVM do? What are some main tasks of the Java Virtual Machine? Well, first of all, it loads the bytecode or the class code into memory bytecode is the code that you get when you compile using the Java compiler your Java texts. Now bytecode cannot be executed directly by a machine. It must be translated to native code. So the actual zeros and the ones that your computer understands. And the translation between the bytecode and the native code is done within the virtual machine by an instance of the JIT compiler, the just-in-time compiler slash interpreter. So those two translate the bytecode to native code, after which the actual native code is executed. Now the virtual machine manages as well different uh, memory areas. And the three main ones I'll be focusing on are, first of all, the method area, that's where the compiled code is stored, among other things. The stack is where the local variables are stored, return values from methods, parameter through methods. And the heap, that's where objects are allocated. There are some other areas, but that will not be discussed in these demos. To give you just a little illustration, so the Java runtime environment where the Java programs are executed, within the GRE, the Java Virtual Machine instance is created that manages the method area, the stack and the heap. I'll be focusing on these three. Okay, that's for the introduction. Thank you, bye-bye.